Providence police are also investigating another homicide tonight. This one took place at a nursing home about two months ago, but the circumstances are just now coming to light. Iowa News News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live from Providence with the details she's uncovered. According to the police report, both the victim and the suspect lived at the nursing home. The report also reveals the victim died of head injuries. Police are investigating a homicide at a nursing home in Providence. According to a police report obtained by Eyewitness News, the victim was an 80-year-old man named Ramon Santiago, who lived here at Bannister House. According to the report, in the middle of September, Santiago was pushed to the ground by a 60-year-old man who had just been told he couldn't leave the facility. The report reveals the man became enraged and turned to walk away. While walking away, he swung his shoulder into Mr. Santiago, who was standing near the counter. Santiago fell backward and struck his head on the floor. Santiago was rushed to the hospital and survived for a week before he passed away. The medical examiner ruled the case will be classified as a homicide. That is still under investigation. We've been working that case and there's other issues we're dealing with. Um, while, while we handle the case. Major David LePayton would not elaborate on what those issues are, but we do know the suspect has not been charged yet. I think very shortly it will come to a conclusion. Today we went to Bannister House to try to get more information about both the victim and the suspect. Management there declined to comment and referred me right back to police. Live with Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.